mission, which is to help the community be financially viable, be environmentally sustainable, produce and offer healthy products with good customer service. And I could not be prouder uh, to be a friend and I will, as long as I'm controller, and I intend to be around for a long time. Uh, my dad is 94, so I tell my critics to be careful. No, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not term limited, and I will be here. And I am going to be someone that you can come to with any problem because of the employment that you represent, the 45 wonderful people that work here, uh, who you provide good benefits to, uh, life insurance, vision, dental, medical care, and uh, competitive wages, time off. I mean, God bless you, the board, for running a great group. And, uh, you know, when you came, I think it was, you had about four or five million dollars in revenues. Now you have nine million dollars in revenues. Yeah. You know, pretty soon you're going to have ten. A couple of years from now, you'll have 12 million, and uh, that won't just be from me buying the wine and the beer. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, this is a fabulous exercise in entrepreneurial uh, success, but also community commitment. And I'd like to, on behalf of the state and Council Member Siemens, I know agrees with me, and Sheriff Popkin and the members of the board present to Marilyn Berger, if I could. Well, Abdi, I'll present it to you, Abdi. Uh, this is given uh, from the grateful state of Maryland to the Tacoma Park Silver Spring Co-op in recognition of your continued commitment to promote healthy living by offering wholesome foods and high quality products at reasonable prices in a welcoming community marketplace setting. With special appreciation for your services since 1981, best wishes for continued growth and success in the years ahead. Presented this 15th day of December. Avi, thank you very much. Sheriff Popkin, do you want to share a sure? Um, so you know, my my every day I have an incredibly busy schedule, and, and but I I make an effort. And any time uh, Mr. Francho comes to Montgomery County, because he's got such a large state to to kind of you know do this from all over the state. But it has something to do with Mr. Francho living right down the street. I'm yeah. telling you that. Uh, so I could not miss the Tacoma Park part of it. But you know, small businesses like this make up 70% of really Maryland's economy. It is so incredibly important that we that not only we have amazing leaders like Mr. Francho in Annapolis supporting us but locally supporting us. And on behalf of all the 200 men and women at the Sheriff's Office, I can't thank you enough, Avi. I can't thank you enough for everything that you do down here in Tacoma Park, because this is just a perfect example of, of why this is so, so, so important as a small business. So thank you and congratulations. Yes, and it is shop local. We go all over the state, we urge people to get off the internet, Marilyn. It's, I know it's convenient. They think it's cheaper, but I'm telling you, these locally based stores, as the sheriff said, provide the majority of employment and wages for our neighbors and our friends. You get great service, you get good prices, and uh, I urge people to do the patriotic thing. And uh, don't send your money to a Amazon and watch <laughs> Seattle or something. Give it here, because the money will stay local. Seriously. Council Member Stevens, I'd like to thank you for your shop every year. Uh, doing something to help the people here in the Park. And thank you, Co-op, for being in the Park. It's part of our heritage. And uh, we appreciate you being here. Yeah. Trust me, as long as I'm a comptroller, you're going to be here, Marilyn. So, and you're going to be happy. Let me give to Abby 